All right, another disappointing uh, expression of human understanding on the internet. From the modern mystic again. <laughs> Yay. The second rule of ultimate reality, which is, I can make up lots of bullshit, and therefore, life is bullshit. I don't know. I'm playing the video, but I mean, it's just, it's just too depressing. So let's do it, because it's too depressing. Yeah. Obviously not too T-O-O -O depressing, it's just too, like, in twice as depressing. Second video to Trick, who didn't understand the last video to him, so I presume other people didn't either, because Trick's... Yeah, because you were combining two subjects, which was the level of competence to discuss technical subjects, and they are sometimes technical. For example, I was just thinking when you were doing this mush, um, you know, when the space shuttles blew up, like, you know, there's certain facts here, you know, we could describe this as events, it did happen, blah, 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 there's only, there's accurate ways to say what happened, there's inaccurate ways to say what happened. Well, anyway, people were talking about how, oh, the people survived when it blew up and the, all this kind of stuff, and uh, from what I understand, um, there's no way that the containment that had the humans in it could depart from the rest of the shuttle um, without leaving initially <laughs> at some g-force like 27 or something I don't know some big number so their their acceleration was so quick um, that no consciousness could sustain that acceleration for more than a half a second without going unconscious so clearly they would be unconscious just because of their acceleration. So no matter what happened to them after that, they wouldn't regain consciousness for some period of time. And so therefore they were likely all unconscious by the time whatever happened to them, you know, the shark was eating their heads or whatever was happening that people were all distressed about, um, they weren't there to experience the fun. Um, but anyway, so so there, there's a... I, now, I'm not saying this is accurate. I'm just saying this is just a, a memory of a circumstance. But I'm just saying there is a technical truth here. Okay? And you can either accurately describe it or inaccurately describe it. And that's all this conversation is really about. And that's what philosophy is supposed to be about, is trying to come up with accurate language um, that describes what's going on. So, you know, we can draw some pictures, right? So let's say the reality is some kind of stupid sandwich, right? It has layers of crap in it, okay? And, uh, you know, and so we have this thing called a point of view. We can be, we can see the whole sandwich, and we can use telescopes and microscopes to see the layers of the sandwich, or we can be inside the baloney layer, you know, and say, oh, everything's just baloney, blah, blah, blah. And we can draw stupid conclusions and and not recognize or establish that, oh, no, wait a minute, there's layers, you know. I mean, I used this example in the last video, but, yeah, you can analyze a hair on your toe and then pretend you're not a human being anymore and just analyze the hair. But there's absolutely no reason to say you're not human anymore. There's no reason to say you're, the hair isn't connected to a body. Um, that's not being accurate if you say you have proof that there's no body and now because there's only a hair in the view screen So it's you know, there's still accurate and inaccurate definitions and the fact that you can make up stories and that the stories can sound all credible Doesn't mean that they are and certainly doesn't mean they're accurate I mean there's lots of religions out there. They're all shit They can all be demonstrated to be shit I mean, come on. Bright, quite a bright bunny. Okay. Trick's asking me some question that I haven't really even paid attention to what the question is about what I think might be real in reality or what... In, something. I don't... Yeah, I mean, this this whole, again, more of this just glib shit. Yeah, he's just basically saying, well, can I nail you down to some sort of physical rule of some kind? Do photons exist? Does some matter exist? Does some, is something the fuck real so we can have a fucking conversation based on some sort of rational premise? Are we describing something that's real? Or are you just describing anything as you can make shit up anytime you want to? I mean, shit, that's just asking too much to nail you down a little bit to some kind of confinement like there is a fucking sandwich and we are trying to describe the fucking sandwich. I mean, this is just such a pile of... I mean, this has been so fucking, you know, I mean, I mean, I hate to say this is beneath you, but I mean, this is just 
what the fuck is this? This isn't logical. You wouldn't do this to the economy. You wouldn't say, oh, you could just make up some theory about magic money or, um, you know, supernatural digits or, um, you know, you could just worry about the debt number and you don't have to worry about any other number and you could just worry about this number and you just forget how the whole other system exists. I mean, you know, you'd say there's a system that you got to account for everything. You can't just make statements without being complete and understanding that, well, yes, if there's high unemployment, but there's, um, you know, really high productivity in the people who are in, uh, employed and you and you ignore the high productivity numbers and just to pay attention to the unemployment numbers that you aren't cheating the truth. That's called cheating the truth. All right, so this whole bullshit that you could just make up shit that cheats the truth. Well, yeah, you can, but that's cheating the truth, isn't it? That's basically lying then, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's being ignorant, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's being on level 2 instead of level 22. No. The thing I'm saying, Trick, is I can give you dozens of stories about reality. Yeah, well, go ahead and do that. Why don't you give me an example of how you can give me a dozen stories about what that is right there, okay? There, outside my window, there's this green shit with flowers on it. Go ahead, give me a dozen fucking conflicting stories that describe that. Go ahead. Let me see you do it. Stories that aren't... Give me, give me 19 stories that are false and give me one story that's the truth. And um, let's see if I can tell the difference. Dozens of them. And all of them I could back up with a certain amount of logic. Lots well, well, yeah, whatever that means. A certain amount of logic. Oh, you mean you could fool some of the people some of the time? Uh, yeah, you could fool the people on level 2 and 10 and 15. But, yeah, you're not going to fool the person who knows a little bit about physics and a little bit about chemistry and a little bit about, yeah, the ones who are a little bit more qualified to understand that, yes, reality is this here sandwich shit and has bologna in it and has ham in it and has bullshit in it and has all kinds of different layers of shit in it. And you have to understand the whole fucking thing um, if you're going to describe the whole fucking thing. you got to describe its heritage, its history. you got to understand where something came from to understand what it is of them great amount of logic. Looking at things from different positions makes things look different. Yeah, duh, but it doesn't deny, it doesn't remove the responsibility, okay, to still account for what you don't know. So if I'm looking at the back end of an elephant, all right, and I'm too stupid to know there might be sides and there might be a front end, all right, if I'm, and if I'm, it's not, and we know that it's not too stupid anymore would be the excuse. There'd be no excuse for me to just sit there and start drawing conclusions that there are no sides and there is no front. There's just the rear end. If I started saying this is all there is, then I would have been way overstepping what the evidence indicates, wouldn't I? Yes. I can tell the stories from these different positions. So you're asking me about reality something or other. I can give you stories about reality. That's what I'm saying. I can give you dozens of them. Well, let's hear some of them, okay? I, I want to hear the one that's um, not the photon story, okay? So tell me the story that isn't a material universe made out of photons. Tell me that story. And let me see how convincing it is. And then you might want to say, well, which one do you believe in? Who gives a flying fuck what I believe? Yeah, that's not the point. The point is, is we're having a conversation about what reality is. You are saying you have a theory of reality, which is suffering doesn't matter because it somehow goes away if you get to a certain level of bullshit. If you get deep enough into the baloney, all of a sudden the sandwich disappears and the layer that's full of suffering just somehow falls off of the goddamn fucking sandwich. That's your fucking theory, that somehow... You, 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 you know, if you get deep enough in the bullshit, that somehow you can make this stuff disappear. You're saying that the, the better perspective, see, and that's the whole argument here, right? The, the, the low number of people, the number fives and the number twelves and the number twenties, they're all stuck in layers of this fucking sandwich, right? Their, their perspective is limited. You're saying that the best perspective out here, um somehow can make this layer of the sandwich disappear. 
That's your fucking argument. You are making an argument. You are making a bold fucking statement. And now you just don't want to back it up with anything. You want to say, well, I could just tell you anything. Why are you listening to me anyway? What's the fucking point of that? I'm going to, I have a theory. Don't pay any attention. I just made it up. Well, why didn't you just say that? You're just making it up. Why don't you just tell me it doesn't matter what I say because I'm a fucking idiot. You, but you're pretending that you know something about authoritative positioning, that you know something about hierarchy and qualifications, and you're implying that you have been to higher levels, so therefore you must be capable of being a higher level thinker. Well, where is this fucking universe that has all kinds of shape-shifting abilities um, uh, that you're claiming? What level is that on? I think that shape-shifting is probably a level 5, I'm afraid. It doesn't matter what I believe. Um, as long as the stories make sense, they're worth telling. All right, I just would like to know what story makes sense. I'm saying, well, as long as the story makes sense, it's worth telling. Well, you're telling me a story that suffering doesn't matter. I'm sorry, it doesn't make sense. That's right, yeah, see, from my theory... Uh, yes, uh, suffering is the, the harm thing, is the pain thing, deliberately created by nature to create, to, di to dissuade organisms from doing certain things. It is intrinsically negative in its force impact. Um, and you're saying, eh, no, 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 it's not really, it's just synthetic. Pay no attention. Well, that doesn't make sense. And other people couldn't adapt them, um, take them on, add them to their repertoire of stories. Everyone has... Yeah, everybody's entitled, no matter what level they're at or what competence they have, to just make up bullshit about what the fuck's going on here. Just lie about the machine. Cars go because they want to. It's not because of gasoline and combustion engines and all that kind of stuff. The wheels just want to get to somewhere. They want to go there really badly got different repertoires of stories. Only complete idiots have only a few. Oh, whatever. I mean, that's just silly, too. Uh, you know, how, how, obviously, I think obviously in our real world experience, it's the complete idiots that have all these wacky stories, and they just keep augmenting them every day to their own convenience. All right? I mean, Jesus is uh, a, a Randian Republican. You know, if read by most Christians. And complete dickheads that only have one, or that believe only one is right. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, again, we're talking about what is the reality. What's the force of gravity? What keeps the moon circling the earth? Yeah, there's only one viable theory now. These are things that we can nail down, and we can say, this is the way it happens, okay? It's not a flat earth. You're not going to fall off the edge. Yeah, we, can, we have done it. We have drawn some fucking conclusions. Evolution is fact, not fantasy. There's not some other story anymore. There's one fucking story. One accurate story. All the other stories are crap. What, is, what was the name of the video? The first rule of ultimate reality, that there is no ultimate reality. And any yeah, again, so there you go. So there's, not some, there's no sandwich to be described. The sandwich describers are the ones that create the reality. So any asshole can just make up any story and it's okay because then that's the sandwich of reality. So photons are little fairies in pink dresses if that's the way they want it to be. And... Um, you know, in four weeks, they're all going to have a, a meet-up on, on Venus. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a spectacular show. Um, you know, they'll be dancing on the rings of Saturn. So all the photons in the universe are all going to go, you know, take a trip to, to Saturn. And they're all going to dance on the rings. Because somebody wants to make up that sandwich. Fuck this shit. Body that thinks they, they are, are just constraining their thinking down to 
moronic nothingness. Oh yeah, right. And what they should really be doing is having a cartoon representation of reality where cars talk and light posts talk and Bugs Bunny lives in Hollywood and all this kind of bullshit. Whatever. There are stories that can be told from all sorts of angles that make perfect sense for all... Perfect sense for... Let's see what the big punchline is. All sorts of angles. Oh, for all sorts of angles. No. Sorry. It doesn't make... It's you, you keep saying it makes sense. The whole reason why you're in an argument with Trick and you're in an argument with me is because it doesn't make fucking sense. Your theory doesn't make sense with what we see. We can't make what we see compliant or, or consistent with your theory. And this is what you're saying is, well, it doesn't matter. I can just make it up, right? So, there's no point asking me questions about what's real here, there, or anywhere without establishing what, what story do you want. I yeah, we want the story consistent with chemistry, physics and biology. We want the story consistent with evolution as a fact. We want the story consistent with physical laws that fundamentally can't be broken. No fairies controlling anything. Angels aren't pushing things into their orbits. Yeah, the story that has something to do with the physical dynamics that we know exist. Yeah, we want one of those fucking stories. Consciousness is happening. We experience it. Trick is saying, yes, I'm conscious. I'm experiencing it. There's just no doubt about it. I mean, it's, maybe it's just electricity, but obviously it's electricity doing something fairly different than, you know, the camera I'm using. That electricity is doing something very different than this electricity is doing, quite obviously. I can give you dozens. Okay? So don't ask me again. Yeah, no, don't ask me again. Yeah, all right, well, well again, so what, go just, whatever. I mean, why do, why even do gardening videos if everybody's just going to make up their own rules of gardening? Go tell the plants a story. They, plants love stories. I've heard that. That's a theory. So, yeah, don't even bother with the fertilizer and the weeding and all that stuff. Just tell the plants they look marvelous and they'll grow better. Oh, I should really say, I'm sorry for being confusing with that last video that you didn't understand. And other people might have not understood. Yeah, well, I'm not going to understand this one. I mean, I understood the one previous. This one, I don't understand at all. We get to make up the bologna sandwich if we're eating enough of the bologna. If we're in the bologna layer, we can just be full of shit. Oh, I you got it now, everybody. You can describe reality from loads of different positions. Yes, and you can do it accurately or inaccurately. You can draw conclusions that are justified, or you can draw conclusions that are unjustified. You can say too much, or you can say too little, or you can say it wrong. And it's just the truth. And you know it's the truth when it comes to describing the reality of the economy. You can detect, your bullshit detector goes off plenty, doesn't it? When people are telling a story, oh, deposits create loans. Yeah, we all knew that was a story, right? That was bullshit. That wasn't accurate. And they're all valid from that particular position. Well, they're no. not though, are they? So again, this is just you're just this is just a hypocrisy because yeah, in certain things you know it's not valid. You know there's certain rules to gardening, you know there's certain rules to the economy, you know there's certain rules governing these things, and all of a sudden reality's not no rules there. Not one position is ever right. Except for the just the one person. Now it's right for me. Well, that well, that's a crock of shit, but it doesn't... I mean, again, there's right and wrong ways. There's accurate and inaccurate. And I think Trick, and I think me even, you know, people will deny it, but I even, we're just seeking the best description of reality. That's all. Just one that's complete enough. Not too complete, just complete enough uh, that makes an accurate statement that doesn't, doesn't cheat it, the truth, doesn't distort the truth, doesn't manipulate the truth, just accurately describes what the circumstance is. 
That's just a pathetic, stupid way of looking at life. Just... Well, I'm sorry. It's pretty pathetic for you to say people can just make up any old bullshit and just pretend it's because I decided I just want to see the baloney layer. Or I don't have to pay attention to the facts I know probably exist, and I'll just pretend cars can talk. From my position. There are loads of ways of looking at life, and none is right. Well, that statement in itself, I mean, what, should I write that on your damn tombstone? You proud of that one? There's loads of ways of looking at life, and none are right. Is that what he just said? Something that stupid was, right? It was something that stupid. Let's, say it. Let's hear him again. And none is right. And none is right. None of them is right. So, 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 again, so we didn't discover the difference between a flat Earth and a round Earth. We didn't understand, we don't understand why the moon keeps orbiting the Earth, um, the force laws anyway. Obviously, we don't exactly understand gravity, but we understand the concept of the math and why it keeps doing exactly the same thing over and over. Um, yeah, we've done a lot of dissecting. We've done a lot of 10,000 years, human beings have done all this picking at shit microbes causing diseases. I mean, these are things we did. We got right answers. We identified the villain, you know? Little syphilis thing. Yeah, yeah, syphilis microbe causes syphilis. We drew the lines between those two things, and we got it right. We don't have the wrong answer. We have the right answer. God didn't do it. The microbe did it. If you want to narrow your thinking right down to thinking one's right, well, knock yourself out. But you're not going to get it here. All right, you... okay, then why what, Why the fuck are you making videos saying I'm describing um, uh, sandwiches? All right, why make videos saying you're describing the economy? Because apparently you don't think there is such a thing. It's a layers, we can just make it up. People can sit in any layer they want to, say whatever bibbly babbly boo they want to, and it's all, all valid, and it's all somehow we all got to respect it, and they can just say shit, and it's supposed to mean something. What the fuck is this shit? What you'll get here is different ways of looking at things, and you can evaluate them, take them on board, reject them. Do yeah, them. okay, fine. I'm sure you do plenty, like I said, I'm sure... You do plenty of rejecting of that kind of crap when it comes to people making up shit about the economy. You know, the Ron Paul conspiracy theorists and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure you see right through them and say, gee, you're just wasting people's time. Gee, you're just distracting people from the reality they have to fix. I'm sure it irritates you when they're given validation. You like with them, but don't expect me to be nailing myself down to say this one's the right one. Right. So you, you just one. you you just wanna be a you just wanna fan the flames of the Ron Paulites and the conspiracy theorists and the we need to have a gold standard and blah 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 blah, blah, blah you know, all that kind of crap. You just wanna get yeah, more and more and more of that. More and more superficial, wrong answers, wrong descriptions of reality. Somehow we need more wrong descriptions of reality. Hypocrite. One's better than the other one. Who knows which one's better than the other one? Well, I think you know on specific subjects, and you're just copped out on reality because, well, look, I don't want to get into it, but I mean, it seems like it seems like it's pretty obvious that you're you're not too happy with the reality you think exists, and this just gives you an out, a way of saying, well, I don't have to think about it if I pretend there's no sandwich. It's just. Look at life from all sides now. And what? Puke into a bucket. What? what? Look at what? Look at your fantasy? Oh, it's okay. It doesn't matter. You can kill six million Jews. You can kill six, six, trillion, six trillion. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you harm. It doesn't matter what gets hurt. It doesn't matter about the inequity. It doesn't Nothing matters because, yeah, 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 the mystic says so. I mean, what a bunch of drivel. Got it. Good. Bye. Yeah, bye. Fuck. Really disappointing. Like I said, he wouldn't apply these standards to any subject with which he took interest and gave a damn. 
And he just doesn't give a damn about reality because he knows it's not a good story. The story sucks. Okay, it's got a tragic beginning and a horrid ending. There's absolutely just nothing in the, the sandwich of reality to feel good about. It's just all a fucking dank, dark dungeon of a story. And so he's just saying, I don't want to watch that movie. So he'll, but yeah, if you're going to, if you, the movies he will watch, the games he wants to play, he wants the game to be played rationally. He wants a rational discussion of the economy. He doesn't want to hear your conspiracy theories. He doesn't want to hear about, you know, angel dollars floating through the, you know, economy. He doesn't want to hear about uh, invisible money, uh, you know, written in invisible ink by the Fed or some kind of bullshit. No, he wants to hear something fact-based. You know, but a conversation about reality, oh, fuck the facts. Just make up a god, make up some other kind of silly crap. Get lost in your layers of baloney. So you can't see anything but baloney. Ugh, fuck. Really disappointing. <sighs> a lot of disappointment in the sandwich of life. You just keep crashing into that shit. It's like the olives in the bologna. What do they call that? Saloni. <laughs> Crapaloni. It's probably some kind of word for that bologna with olives in it. But yeah, that was just... Ew. Ew, an olive. What the hell is that doing in my bologna? I don't even know if they still make that shit. I just... I remember when I was a kid. It was just like, what the fuck is that? They put olives in the bologna? Huh? I mean, why don't they just put, like, chocolate in the bologna? That would make more sense. Maybe. Possibly. Or potato chips. Yeah. Little Pringles in the bologna. Yeah, I like that. When I was a bologna eater, of course. Don't eat bologna. I'm a big fan of bologna. Not much. So, it's like sliced hot dogs. It's just the 